Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Matt Foxes is hosting for Hockney City. Let me introduce you to the lineup of the teams. Wagner City. Number zero, Ty Hawkins. That's the sound of the police. 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 Number one, the captain of the team, Kenneth Miller. Number five, Alberta Devosian. Number nine, Hagobas Marian. Number ten, Austin Morton. Number twenty-two, Pavel Kreptov. Number 23, Kirtland Martin. And number 25, Alisa and Mekanawachi. The head coach of the team is Vartan Khachadria. And now, Yo, Mad Foxes! Number two, the captain of the team, Damian Archer. Number three, Arturo Bramian. Number four, Arkavedian. Number 14, Martin Grigorian. Number 17, Rafael Safarian. Number 24, Artyom Tavakalian. Number 25, Sambel Akopian. Number 30, Alexander Chavertian. Number 32, Miki Avedian. Number 34, David Khachadrian. Number 35, Jack Fiddler. And number 44, Kayla Punter. The captain of Foxes is Haruki Asayan. The game will be featured by the crew chief, David Kikian, umpire, Samle Darakiran, David Panosian, commissioner, the game, Melik Santrosian.
And, and so we are back in the Caucasians Basketball League with tonight Foxes matching up against Bahogni City. This is the match of the night, match of the week as Arko Avedian bangs one home from the range. And it was the first three points of the game, which was clearly a uh, really necessarily shot for Foxes to start as Kenneth Eastfald in a first transition of the game. Also, it was not a foul, sorry, it was a turnover for them. And now Fox is top with Damien Archer, Arkavedian, David Khachetian, Mikavedian, and Artyom Tavakalian. So technically, this starting five has become a really popular one for us. As uh, the head coach of Foxes, who only likes to rock with one American, starting the game with Caleb Hunter and Jack Fiddler on the bench. While, uh, again, another uh, starting five for Navagni City, which we do really like and enjoy, as Archer misses one. The five of uh, Vagni cities, Kenneth Miller, Alisa Nawachi, Pasha Khreptov, Alberta Adelson, and Aston Moran. And Kenneth with Aston playing, uh, and of course Alberta Adelson playing the second year already in Vagni City. As Alisa goes to the bench, passes it to Aston, who's open. Bang! Tie game. Both of the teams getting three-pointers for themselves. Tawakalan has the ball, he's guarded by Albert. So these two players know each other really well. They've been playing uh, in the same team or in the op op opposite ones uh, from being aged 16. And now Khachatian misses one long as Arka tried to get the uh, off offensive board, but no good as he steps out of bounds on the sideline and the ball is uh, rewarded to Vahakni uh, City. And uh, from there, no, of course, Kenneth uh, calls Albert for help. But no, he won't need it. Uh, Archer is not playing the uh, forcing defense. And also, Austin will be the point guard for now as he drives on Mikia, passes it to Pasha. He will not shoot, but he's fouled by Mikia, uh, sorry, by Arka, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, the foul goes on Arka Vedian. That is the first personal foul of the whole game. And from the sideline, Wagner again for another uh, possession. Aston, guarded by Mika once again, goes on him, passes it to Ulisa, who's open on the free throw line, knocks it down. And Aston will be the one playing defense against Damien. So Damien got a screen, goes on Nawachi. Khachatian loses the control, and it is a. Uh, Backcourt violation on Foxes. So now Kenneth William Bout it. It goes to Aston. Another try will be done by Morden. Oh again, another pass to Alisa in the same spot. Pasha open. No good. So Pasha, to be honest, lately, uh, in the last maybe couple of th or three games, have been has been struggling a lot from the three-point line. He was not connecting a lot. As Tata Vosian misses, rebound goes to Pasha. No, I'm sorry, uh, Tava Kalyan, not Tata Vosian. Aston, another shot. Another bang, bang! Five-point lead for Wagner City very early in the game, in the first... Uh, three minutes. Zmika in the corner, pump fakes, goes all the way, passes. Good ball movement by Foxes, but Arka comes up short, and Mika commits for a foul during the fight for uh, the rebound against Alisa Nawachi. So once again, Morden. He's the point guard, and I don't know how and why he replaced KJ Miller on that position. Pasha misses, now KJ gets the board. That's why KJ is not the point guard. He's placed for center now. But after rebound, he turns the ball over. Tawakaran all the way. The layup is no good. KJ picks it up. Albert is going straight to the corner to get ready for a shot. His feet are set, 
but he will not get the pass. Alisa will though, and he is short also. Archer tries to find David. He'll just reset. They don't need to rush. And now goes for his favorite shot, which is good. We're back to a single possession game. And this is not the first time that both of the teams have been exchanging points for not just the first four minutes of the game, but for the whole 40 minutes, as this matchup practically always goes to the wire. As Aston misses it, and now David is with the ball, goes on Elisa. Can't, can't make the M1, but will get two shot opportunities from the line. And there's a sub on Foxes. Finally, Caleb Hunter uh, has got opportunity to be on the floor. He replaces Mikia. And this one, the foul that was made on David, is the first of the game while Hachatan makes the first free throw. So in the first four minutes, Uh, the game, only one foul has been committed by him. And David makes both of those. Albert leaves the ball to KJ. And his ball is stolen by Caleb. Who's gonna flush it home? And there's the support by fans. And there's a point lead for Foxes. So on a 6-0 run. And Albert's shot is blocked by Tavakalian. There's a sub. Oh, actually on both of the teams. With Kern Martin replacing Pasha. And Jack Fiddler coming to the floor. And Big David is with the physicist. And look at that, there was something going on between Arca and Elisa. Nothing has been called though. Great pass to Arca. Caleb is in a pain, guarded by Morgan. Great pass! And there's the Ability, uh, Mr. Efficiency, Jack Fielder to find an open space without the ball. You can check that on your list on what uh, he is able and he is not able to do. And Albert was trying to find space, couldn't, and now he's open on three. No good, Aston won't even try to take the rebound. Damien goes all the way. Passes the ball in the corner. Jack Fiddler! Six point lead. So after making eight points, Fahakni has not scored yet. And their uh, scoring run is now 11 to zero with Alisa missing another shot. Kurlan couldn't put it back. Martin is the, one of the players of Vargas in the city that Foxes really need to be concentrated on. Great rejection by Elisa, blocks the shot of Damien. Martin, all the way. Another great defense, better offense by Kurt. And he finally makes a basket. And that's the end of the scoring run of Foxes. Four point lead. 3.35 left. Tomakalia splash! What is going on in this game tonight? Um, I have no clue. Um, both of the teams started really strong. Then Foxes slowed down a little bit. And Avagni are not able to connect with their shots as Albert is injured. And Elisa gets an end one. Let's see. I hope nothing major happened to him. I think it's just a muscle fracture. Oh no, everything's fine with him. He's walking on himself. 
as Alisa makes the three points. The big man wait. Damien. Tavakalan right back to Archer, right back to Tavakalan. Another try. This one is missed long. Rebound goes to Austin. Albert. Bang! There's the upset, Albert, we all been waiting for. Damien passes it to Caleb. Good job, and the ball. I think he's going to Bahagni. Let's see what the referees decide. And now the head coach of Foxes uh, does not need to be upset that much, or else he'll get a technical. No. Uh, the referee changed his decision. The ball is going to Foxes from the baseline. And Tavakalan got the ball now. Jack pulls up and makes the shot. Kurt. KJ didn't do anything today. And look at that. The captain of Wagner and the player who always scores has touched the ball very few times tonight and look at that foul on Jack Fiddler. It was a really hard foul. I kind of agree with the referees. I don't think this is an unsportsmanlike foul. That's what you see on the screens right now. The head coach of Fox is complaining to the referees to call for an unsportsmanlike foul. But I don't think so because both of the players jumped to block and they were not trying to intentionally foul. As Jack misses a three, finally, Fox could grab a rebound. Two left in the first quarter. Finally, KJ touches the ball. Wants Austin in the other corner, drives. His slaughter is up and good! Now we need more of this. Not we actually, but defense of Agni City as Jack Filler is on fire today. Cooking. And Jack is the leading scorer of the game with 10 scored points. But Arka commits for a foul after a good defense on KJ Mueller, which is his second person of the game. Foxes pick up their fourth, a minute and 23 seconds for Wagner City with a bonus as Big David is now able to check in, replace his Arka, who's got two. Cardinal drops! Good up pop! This, uh, it was easily going to be the top 10 play of the month. And look at that. You miss an easy shot. Archer comes at you, and he makes an end one. And there's a six-point lead now with Foxes. And now the head coach of Foxes is motivating Jack after the last possession. There's nothing wrong with that. As Damien misses a free throw. KJ leaves the ball to Kurt. Hush up. There's a set going on for Fahakni now. Great pass to Pasha, who fakes, goes all the way. He won't make the layup. Nothing is called. Tabakalian. It was a long three point attempt. Great pass to Caleb. Another two for Foxes. And this is the biggest lead of the game now for Foxes with eight points. And there's um, a nine point, a nine second actually difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Artyom goes up for one, a very high contested shot, which was not good. And now after the rebound, Austin is fouled by Caleb Hunter.
And Aston comes up short with the first one. Makes the second though, so splits the pair. Seven point game, 14 on the clock. Archer will be passing the half court, guarded by Kirtland. And Martin is playing great defense. Caleb won't shoot. Austin has got time. And again, nothing is called on the try of Austin. But oh well, the first quarter is over. Seven point lead for Wagner City. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Back to the second quarter. Vagni has a seven point lead. Both of the teams playing with the same fives as they finish the first quarter. Aston, another crossover. This time he will not shoot. Pasha, great footwork. And he lays it in under the basket. While well, Damien now is calling for a screen from David, as it seems like. He will not get one yet. Artyom, great play, great connection, Artyom and big David. Well, most of the times the connection was between Damien and big David, not Artyom, but this time the duo has split apart. And now there's another member there. Albert, good pass to KJ in a corner. No good, Caleb with a high flying strong rebound, but KJ steals the ball right back. Albert, not going to shoot it, but he's fouled by Big David. And that's the first foul of David in the game. So six fouls have been committed by Foxes, three only by Vahakti sitting the whole game. KJ, good pass to Albert. And now the ball goes to Pasha. Another miss. Khreptov just cannot connect. With his shots. Ball goes to David in the corner. No good. Albert with the rebound. Alisa. And Alisa was so close to getting the M1. But oh well, he's just fouled. He will go to the line. Seems like he was a little upset with the hard foul by Jack Fiddler. But as um, all of you know, Fiddler is a very smart player. In that kind of situations where something bad can happen, he just doesn't care. He just walks away. He doesn't even look at anybody. As Alisa splits the pair, cuts the lead down to six points. Archer. 
There's Caleb in the corner. He will shoot. He shot it short. Rebound goes to Lisa. KJ's running. And look at that. There's a bad miscommunication between uh, KJ and Morton. KJ thought uh, Aston was going to go to the basket, but no, he was going back to the three point line. So there's another turnover for Wagner City. Tavakalian blows by Albert, misses a very easy layup, but the ball will still be remaining in their possession with 10 seconds on the shot clock. And there's the first time of the game called by the head coach of Foxes, Harut. We'll be back in a minute. And after the timeout, Damien will be the one inbounding. Great pass to David. And yes, yes, I completely agree. It is a traveling by Khachatrian. And now a full court press by Foxes on Bahagni. Uh, but they pass the half court very easily. Albert is with the ball, goes all the way, passes to Elisa. And yes, there is a foul called on David. As Khachatian uh, is called for the third personal foul today. Which obviously after that he goes to the bench where well, his replacement is Arkham. And now uh, Alisa, I think Alisa is going to have a lot of possibilities. Aston passes to Nawachi. KJ is open. Four seconds on the shot clock. They don't have much time as Aston misses a layup. Easy one. Takalan. Another try, another miss, Arca, great rebound. What a ball movement by Foxes, this has to go in. Of course it will. And now there's the biggest lead with nine points. Alisa with a mismatch on Nawachi. Too big, too strong, too good. Caleb on the free throw line, Jack once again. Amazing ball movement. It's just, it's just what it is. That's the game of basketball. If you move the ball around good enough, the final shot is gonna go in. So another time, Alisa will be in the paint. But this time, Albert comes, brings the defender for him. Again, Alisa in the paint, the ball was stripped. Still, he has it. He makes a, uh, a free throw area mid range shot. Damien misses from his favorite spot. Another offensive board 
por Arca. Caleb makes it. KJ. Let's see if this is one of those possessions for Wagner City again where Elisa will be in the paint and we will get the pass. But no, it seems like he would not as Austin blows by Arca and didn't get the end one though. But he will be on the line to shoot too. And now Mikia and uh, Alexander will be on the floor. Alexander uh, checks in for the first time. The youngster of Foxes leaving uh, uh, on the bench. Mika's brother Arka and Artyom. And uh, tonight Tava Kalyan has got uh, 13 points. I'm sorry, six points. Uh, Jack Piller is the one scoring 13 and he's the scoring leader. While the second free throw of Aston is good. Archer, he will get a screen by, uh, from Mikia. Caleb goes to the opposite side. Mikia drives on Pasha, great defense. Goes up for a no good, rebounded by Elisa. Aston is fouled by Fiedler, and that's a very smart and a good foul by Jack Fiedler. The worst part of this is that not me and nor uh, Fiddler saw that it is, not, it is not as smart as it seems like to foul as Vahakni has a bonus for the remaining five and more minutes of the, uh, the second quarter. So every time they get fouled, the players will be on the line to shoot free throws. And now look at the foul difference. Uh, six, seven, eight, ten personal fouls for Vahakni City. I'm sorry, for Foxes. And only three for Vahakni. And Austin gets the pair. Alexander. Fielder passes it to Chavez. And again, KJ couldn't steal it. Not a good pass to uh, Caleb by Damian Archer. Turnover for Foxes. Seven point lead. And this is a big possession for Wagner. I thought uh, KJ was going to shoot it. What a great pass from Albert, a no-look elbow pass <laughs> to Lisa. But in the end, it worked out. Um, Tadevosian is fouled. As Albert makes the first one. Gets the pair. There's the lead cut down to only five. And the head coach of the Hockney City, Coach Varden, has not used a timeout in the first 15 minutes of playing time tonight. Full court press for Hockney City on Foxes. As Damian splits the defense, and now the ball is in Tavakalan's hands. Fiddler, another try. Oh, this one is terrible. Air ball and a very smart play by Pasha. Sends the ball out of bounds after hitting Jack. I'm oh, sorry, Mika with it. And uh, Mika, as always, crashing the offensive board. And now this is a five point game. The lead can, cut, can be cut down to only single possession after the two free throws of Albert, who is fouled once again. And this time the foul is going to Mikia. So actually two players in a foul trouble very early in the game. One, uh, the first one is Big David, as all of you remember, who is on the bench and has three personal fouls. And the other player, Foxes, is Arka, again with three uh, personals. And on the bench, Jack has two. Um, Who's the other one? Mika has two. 
and just a single one for Artem. So yet, Albert, another two free throws are made by him. Jack gets a screen, goes all the way. It is a clear traveling for me, a clear traveling. Um, well, actually, doesn't even matter for Foxes, uh, for Vogni as uh, Foxes didn't score and they got the ball. Pasha in the corner, Alisa, and now in the paint. There's another two for Nawachi. 12 points for Alisa becomes the scoring leader for the team. Only one away from Jack Fiddler's full game. Tava blows by everybody and lays it in. Gordon. KJ passes to Alisa. Nawachi goes on Mika once again. No good. Caleb with the rebound. Damian will put his feet on gas. Goes on KJ and is fouled. So this is the very first personal foul of the quarter for Falkley City. And there's finally the timeout called by the head coach Vartan. We'll be back in a minute. Beach on, beach on track. So we're back out to the timeout. Caleb has the ball after Damian Thiebaugh. Great defense by Austin. Blocks Hunter's shot. And it goes all the way. KJ missed it. Great defense once again by Austin. Steals the ball. Passes the curtain in the corner. So three point game. KJ from the corner. No good, Pasha with the offensive board. Martin spins and doesn't make it. Finally, Tabakala was able to rebound. And let's see, I don't know if it was with Pasha or Kurt. Oh, it was on Pasha, so Pasha picks his first foul. Damien, Tavakala was trying to get the ball, didn't though. Good pass to Mikia. And Avedian makes an end one. Let's see who the foul is called on. Because judging by the um, view I had here, the side, I haven't seen anyone uh, doing a foul or something. I don't know. And we'll, I think we'll see the replay of that. 
after this possession of Mahogny as KJ has the ball, gets a ball screen from Pasha. Miller. Pasha, strong three, then finally. I cannot even scream after Pasha finally hit him when I have to talk. Because he was one of the X factors to the start of the Caucasus League. While well, Damien Archer now makes a crazy high layup. And brings the four point lead back. KJ. Bang! On hand of Mikia. Minute and 30. For the first half, just a one point game. Look at that. Jack Phillip, what a great pump fake. I even stood uh, from my seat when he faked there, but he missed it. KJ is with the ball. Once again, guarded by Mikia. So I think he's gonna shoot once more. This one, no good. Now he's open. Bang! So Wagner City gets the lead. After the first minutes, if you remember, the score was 8-3. to three, And then Foxes went to on for a scoring run. And the Wagner has not been leading since that. While well, their dream is shattered too early with Hunter making a three. So the lead changes back. The Foxes being leader. AJ. Aston blows by Mika and smashes it home. What a throw down, Aston. Yeah, you better be happy, young man. And look at the confidence of Agni City now playing the full court press. But Artyom gets the ball, goes all the way, and not a good pass to Jack Filler in the corner, and there's 7.4 seconds left on the clock. Of course, the head coach Vartan will call a timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Just as I said, seven, four seconds left for the first half. Let's see what Fahakni will try. Martin gets the ball, passes to KJ. No good. And that is it. One point lead for Fahakni City. Great first half. I'm looking forward for a better second one. We'll be back after the halftime break.
man. Plus the vibe of haze, yes, the king or the one. If I be the father of the kids, my concern will absolutely be the point at which you return. And I ask children, children, where have you been to? How are they keeping? What did they teach you? Yes, come on, come on, and I mean the whole bunch. No way to step up front. Every day, let the hunt up to me. The you, the him, the surface of the sea, y'all. It's time to be more you can be, y'all.
And the ball is back for the second half of Agni City and Matt Fox's matchup with Miki Avedian missing the first three-pointer of the half. Alisa's in the paint. Good pass to Morden. Goes up. Won't get the points though. And now Archer all the way misses the lefty layup. KJ. Great ball movement by Wagner City, and there's a, I was, I thought there was a kick violation there, but no, nothing is called. So now Damian is with the ball, guarded by KJ. Has Alisa on him now, won't go for a shot. Caleb will from mid range, air ball. As Mika tried to save the ball, couldn't. They're going the other way, KJ. Open, bang! First point of the quarter, go to KJ Miller, who scores the first points. Tavakalian, no good on his try. Pasha with a rebound, gets the ball back. KJ. Pass to Albert. He will get a bolt screen from Elisa. And it was not a good pass. Oh, backcourt violation is not called. That's it. 
the shot clock is over, but there was a whistle, so the game is stopped. So four point lead for Bahakti City, Mikia passes it to Jack. Ball goes to Damian in the corner. He skips it to Caleb and he good. Back to only one point difference in the game. Now KJ has the ball. Got it by Damian. Aston gets the ball. Nawachi finds Aston in the paint. Two seconds on the shot clock. He needs to shoot. Go, sorry. Fade away shot. No good. And Tala Kalyan grabs the board. Passes it to Caleb. Mika all the way. And there's a foul called. Look at that decision. I mean, maybe I was far away from the from where the foul occurred. Man, I don't know. I will not put a comment on that call. But no, I don't think it was good. So yeah, 48-49, one point lead for Foxes. And now the game is up for uh, Vahagni. And now the game is tied on 49 after Mikia making the first free throw. Misses the second one. So the leading scorer still is Jack Fiddler with his scored 13 points with Aston, goes for a mid-range shot and makes it. Archer. It's guarded by KJ. Look at that aggressive defense by Kenneth Miller. Boom! Great connection in Caleb and Damian. The alley works. <laughs> Kenneth. Pass to Albert. Now Pasha is with the ball. Goes for a fadeaway shot. No good. Hunter. Passes to Mikia. Avedian all the way for a lay in. Two point lead for Foxes. Another lead change. Um, I was talking with um, some people during the halftime break. All of us hope that the game would still uh, be the way it was in the first half. So we won a lot of lead changes. We won a close score with Pasha making the fadeaway this time and tying the game. So that's what I'm saying. This is what we need. Damien passes to Caleb. What a pass by Hunter. And yes, the pass was very good. The possession all along was very good, but Aston's defense was not on point. It was very late on the help side, and now Damien steals the ball. Boom! Another one! And Navagni needs to call a timeout. We will be back in a minute.
a four point lead for Foxes in the first five minutes of the second half. And after that last possession, after a steal in the alley oop down, all of the energy and momentum is on the Foxes side. So Wagner really needs to pick it up. As KJ passes it to Kurt Pasha, will shoot. Missed it. Great defense once again, but there's a foul called. I guess by Martin, let's see. Nope, it's on KJ Miller, who picks up his second of the game. Damien. Passes the half court. He's welcome there by KJ. Ball screen by David. Artyom, open. Bang! All of a sudden, there is a seven point lead for Foxes. But let's not forget, the beginning of the game was kind of similar. Not a good pass by Pasha. Artyom steals it. And this was going to be great block, but there's some tension going on between Austin and Albert. Let's see the replay. Oh, yeah, Aston started talking, then Artyom answered him. Oh, so it's an end one actually by Artyom, so a goaltending has been called. And he makes the second, uh, makes the first free throw, so three points for Artyom in one possession. The old fashioned way. And Kurdlan! Let's see, let's see. I think, but the points must count. If, you, if it's a defensive foul, then the points should count, right? Yeah, he got fouled and he shot the ball. I don't know. And Aston goes up for a no good. Tawakanam with the rebound. Get ready! Kill him with another flush! The last six points have been scored with a dunk by Caleb and Albert Tadalosian couldn't uh, give a good pass to Pasha. And after that, the big David couldn't control it, so turnover for Foxes. But let's be honest, after a great defensive possession, Pasha, KJ has eight on the shot clock. Gets a screen from Pasha, has big David. Goes up for one and it is a turnover for Wagner City. Yeah, I, I didn't see David falling there on the replay as well. So Artyom now with a fadeaway shot. Tavakalian single-handedly is getting a big point lead for Fox's great pass from Alberto. And now Martin's shot is blocked. Damien, great pass to Tavakalian. Bang! 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 You can just say it all day. Artyom is gonna rain. Miller. Pasha. Great pass to Kurt. This time, nobody was even close to blocking him. Try and block, actually. 15 point lead. Pava Kadan has 24 points now. Caleb goes for a mid range shot from his favorite spot. No good. Kurt is running. And again, K 
kick violation has not been called. So Archer slaughter won't work either. Gordon, Albert from three, misses it short. Kirtland tried to steal it right away from Artyom. Good pass to Caleb, and yes, Hunter is being very smart, doesn't rush. They have all the momentum, no need to lose it. Hunter passes it to Tavakadam. So an offensive foul has not been called, but the three was not in uh, also. A great defense by Damien. Albert all the way, and Mikia commits for one. That is Mikia Avedian's fourth personal foul of the game, which obviously is not good news for the Foxes with Mika and Artem going to the bench, replaced by Arka and Fiddler. While there was one player who didn't play for the whole third quarter until now in Alisa Meganovachi. I have no clue why. I haven't talked about the head coach or Alisa during the halftime break. Maybe uh, there's some kind of an injury which needed to be hit more before him coming back on floor. But oh well. He's in there now, while Albert makes the first free throw. Alisa tonight has only one foul, and he makes the second also. So 13 point game, this game is far from being over. There's a lot of time left yet. And a lot of things can change. Can be blowout, can be tight game, can be blowout on the other side. You never know. And David makes a three. KJ, good pass to Nawachi. More than traveling has been called. Archer blows by and he misses the lefty lay in. Everything was correct until the last second. KJ putting Arca on skates and now Alisa is with it. He will not get the two shot opportunity, although he is fouled from the baseline. Uh, Vahakti will have another possession with 15 on the clock. Now there's an inbound set play going on for Wagner City. Albert, a great reverse layup by Tata Vosian. Again, cutting the lead down to now 14 points. So no, Foxes will not be able to use a two for one as Archer is looking at the clock all the way with 10 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. And there's a jump ball called. It is Wagner City ball. So Alisa and Aston Jewel was able to uh, get a steal from Foxes. So there are two tactical subs on Foxes with Tava Kalyan, who's got just a single foul, and Alexander Shaverjan, who hasn't got any fouls, replacing a two men with three of them. So Big David. And uh, Arka, Pasha will shoot. He missed it. Great pass. Another flush. Caleb Hunter, that's the end of the third quarter for you. 16 point lead for Mad Foxes. We'll be back in a couple of minutes.
And the ball is back for the last 10 minutes of the Wagner City. And Fox's matchup. Fox is rocking with Tavakalyan, who bangs one home. Demian Archer, Kela Panzer, David Rachatyan, and Arkavadyan. So two players with three personal fouls on the floor right now for Foxes. And there's a steal by Foxes. Uh, Damien will not get fancy. He'll just get the easy layup. Getting a 21 point lead of Wagner City. Let's not forget, Wagner City is in the first place in the standings of uh, the league. And there's a foul called on Big David. And David was really not happy with that call. So Lisa has a mismatch. Will get the pass finally. Albert for a three. No good. High flying rebound by Tall David. He's got a lot more length than anybody on the floor. Great defense by Albert. Arca turns the ball over and he's fouled by Damian Archer. So both Albert and Damien got tactical fouls for talking to each other. Well, actually it was a smart foul by Damien Archer stopping the fast break after Albert's uh, a steal. But after that, I don't think Albert, I don't think Albert needed to Go talk to him. And there's a steal by Big David. Great play. Artyom gets the ball in the transition. Goes all the way. No good. Aston grabs the ball. Great handles. Tate Vosian is open. Another miss and another tall rebound by Big David. Alisa commits for one. That's the second personal foul. Uh, team foul, actually, I'm sorry, for Wagner City. Oh, and personal also for Alisa. And a timeout has been called by Hey As Coach Ruth. We'll be back in a minute. When they got rich, I went by my mama. I'm so much in here for all of them guys. I know they see them, I don't want to dance. So go let them try. I bet that they die. I got a beast up, I put my surprise. I guess you know that they never see nice. They really can't fuck with the gang. I'm so much in here for all of them guys. I know they see them, I don't want to dance. So go let them try. I bet that they die. I got a beast up, I put my surprise. So Coach Roots' timeout is over. Archer is guarded by Aston. There's a screen by David. Tavakalian. Great crossover. And once again, Tavakalian is not good with his pass attempt. The ball goes out of bounds. 
KJ. And once again, Alisa was trying to get the ball uh, in a position against David. Pasha with a fake. KJ missed it short. And this time, after a great fight of Big David for a rebound, the ball is going out of bounds after touching Wagner City's players. It was KJ, I guess. And as it seems like, the head coach of Wagner City is not even going to try and come back as he subs uh, Albert out of the game. Well, tonight, Wagner City have been playing only with a eight-man roster as Arka gets the rebound and makes the end one after David Smith under the basket. So yeah, and Hagop commits for his first foul after being in the game for literally seconds. And as I was saying, in the eight-man uh, roster of the City, City's head coach Vartan has been using only six of his players the starting five, so KJ, Aston, Alisa, Pasha, and Albert, and uh, Curtin Martin got a couple of minutes on the floor, oh, who for me, you already know that he is the sixth man of the year already, not even being the halfway in the season. So Vahagni still keeps the ball. Nope. Albert is back. Jacob back on the bench. So seems like he needed a couple of seconds of rest. Need to sit down. And Albert takes the ball. Guarded by Tavakalan. And after coming back off the bench, makes the first bucket. Cutting the lead down to 22. Well, comeback is not impossible. It is very hard, though. Get that. Good pass to David by Artyom. Uh, Hachatan misses the mid-range shot. KJ. As Damian was very close to stealing the ball. Great pass to Austin by Alisa. And Austin Morton misses the lay-in. And now uh, to the fight. The ball goes out of bounds. Fox's ball. So in the second half... Well, frankly, nothing good has been going on for Wagner City. The shots were not falling. Um, Foxes were getting a lot of easy looks. As Pasha comes and takes the ball, tried to be smart. And there's a great pass by David to Arka, who makes two points. What's this? Let's see. Let's see what happened. I didn't see what happened. I have no clue what happened. Well, I guess Albert got another technical foul, maybe. As yes, he's going to the bench. I guess that's it. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah. he's got the second technical for complaining to the referees, and he will be out of the game as um, he's got one early in the fourth quarter. We're talking to Damien, and by FIBA rules, if you get two technicals or two unsportsmanlike like fouls or one technical and one unsportsmanlike like foul, so one from each other, You'll be disqualified from the game, which means you have to be out of the gym. So Damien. He's gonna shoot a free free throw. And he misses the easy point. While 
for the first time, Artur Abramian will be on the uh, on the floor, and the captain Damian Archer, after doing a great job, well, he's only scored eight points tonight, but he is the heart and soul of Matt Foxes. All of you know that already. He will be on the bench. I don't think he will even check in if everything goes smoothly. As Foxes won, as Alisa flushes one. Ramian started by Hagop. Not a good pass. Turnover for him. KJ is open from way downtown. No good. Pasha with an offensive board. And he's fouled. So yet Pasha will be on the line now. It is a 22-point game. And Caleb Hunter gets his second personal foul. Misses the first one. Napasha splits the pair. Arthur, full for Crest, going on for Wagner City. Arthur tries to go all the way. The ball is stolen by Pasha. Stolen right back, but Arka. And the head coach of Foxes gets a technical call on him. Again, for complaining too much to the referees. And Austin couldn't make the free throw. So it is Wagner City ball once again. As there was a backcourt violation by Arkop. Alisab. It was a good pass. And uh, Pasha's ball was stripped out of bounds by Foxes. So still Wagner City ball with 4.3 on the shot clock. Alisa spins, he needs to shoot, and that's it. There's a shot clock violation called. So a team turnover for Wagner City. Arthur. Great crossover. Didn't make the end one, but he will be on the line to shoot. Makes the first one. Come on, rolls out. JJ passes it to Hagop, but pass to Lisa. And Morden will try an offense. Nope, passes to Wachi. And Alisa gets two points. He's down to 20. Scored 86 to 66. David from the corner, no good. And Caleb tried to make one. Another smart play by Pasha. This was, this is the third time already as the head coach Vartan calls a timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Two feet. 
20 point game, 4 10 left in the fourth with Austin missing one. And rebound went to Alexander, who is fouled by Pasha. And as both of the teams have 14 fouls and obviously bonus, um, Alexander is going to the line to shoot two for a possible 22 point lead. Misses the first one. Splits the pier. And Austin leaves the ball to KJ. He's against Caleb Hunter. Who's going out of bounds after touching Caleb's foot? Alisa goes all the way, tried to dunk it home. He was fouled by Alexander. So just two free throws for him. And I'll be honest, the first three quarters went by so fast um, I was not looking at the clock during the third quarter when it started and when I did it was like what five minutes left maybe or four I don't know I thought it was just we were just like minute in in the third quarter but that's how fast the ball was, uh, the game was going but now as Practically, let's just be honest, everybody knows who's the winner of today. Um, the players are fouling a lot. Nothing major is happening for any of them. So it's just like a really slow game now. KJ, again, a foul, just as I was saying. Now KJ Miller will be on the line to try. First one is no good. Austin thought it's an end one. Went for a rebound. Oh, no. Another try for KJ. Misses both of those. Arca leaves the ball to Arthur. Wagner steal the ball. This time, Alisa misses also. Finally could make points. And not a good pass to Caleb. Austin with a steal. Goes all the way. No good. Alisa with a putback. Once again, full court press. For Foxes, Caleb. Is the ball to Jack. Great pass to Arca, who is making the lay-in. A very important shot for Foxes. KJ. Gets a screen from Elisa. And no win one, just two shot opportunities for Kenneth.
Dudley makes it. And the second one is up and no good. Alisa with an offensive board, another foul. Another two shots. So Arthur and Alexander will be on the bench um, as well as Arka and the three starters. Uh, Artyom, Damian, and Big David are coming back on the floor. Alisa makes it. 15 point game. Again, Foxes. In a full court press, Damian passes to Jack. Fielder has a lot of space in front of him. Won't pass yet. Archer blows by Hago. And the three from the corner. Uh, Fielder is good. He's got 16 points. Leading scorer is Artem Tawakarian still with 22. KJ. His floater works. 16 point game. Great pass, and Caleb will not rush, obviously. The time is their friend, but David will, and he makes a lefty layup. Another foul, and once again, we will see KJ on the line. So, technical foul has been called on Kenneth Miller for uh, complaining to the referee. And once again, Damian just can't not make the technical foul free throws. Kenneth makes the first one. And KJ makes the second one also. Great pass, but what a block shot in another one on Big David by Elisa. And look at what Navachi was doing. Well, both of the teams know who's the winner, but we are having a lot of fun here. As Big David makes the first one. And he gets the pair. Morden. Alisa tries the three, no good. Great steal by Hago. And pass it to Pasha, who gets an easy layup. So 16 point game, not a good pass by Jack. Aston comes up with a steal, goes up for a three. Misses it to the right, ball goes out of bounds, minute and 14 left.
Tavakalian has the ball. Still waits. He is a very smart player. All of us already know that. And was looking to kill a punter all the way. Agop. Pass it to Aston. KJ is open on three. And Asmaran will try from the mid range. And his shot touches the backboard. No good. And Damien goes to the corner, runs back. Great in and out move by Damien. And he will be on the line with 28 on the clock. Makes the first one. Misses the second short. And Pasha's ball is stolen. Archer has it. And he'll just lay it in. Uh, so... I don't think that uh, Foxes are going to have another position. No, they will. And there's the 100 points. Uh, point mark for Foxes. So four seconds. 101 to 80. 21 point lead for Foxes over Valhalla City. What a great game. Uh, the first two quarters were pretty close. But right after that, coming up after the halftime break, Foxes came strong, got a big lead, and were able to keep it till the end of the game. And we'll just, just, just be honest, Artyom Tabakalan kind of single-handedly got a big lead in the third quarter over Wagner City. As I was saying, great game, and this is it. This was Albert with you. Love basketball, and he will love you back.